the gospel of the grace of God is clearly Galatians 2.16 without the works of the law. The gospel of the grace of God is clearly Titus chapter 3 verse 5 not of works of righteousness. The gospel of the grace of God is clearly Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. It's not of works. 2, 8, and 9. It's not of works. So those three verses confirm that the gospel of the grace of God is not about works of righteousness. It's not about works of the law. And it's not about works. It's not the gospel of the grace of God is not of yourself. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. It's not of boasting. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9. So if it's not of yourselves, it's not about boasting, it's not works of the law, it's not works of righteousness, and it's not by works. And then Romans chapter 11 verse 6 confirms that the gospel of the grace of God is only of grace. If it has works, then it is no more grace. Okay, and grace we know is a gift of God, Ephesians chapter two verse eight. Okay, a free gift, again that is not of works of the law, that is not of works of righteousness, that is not of works, that is not of boasting, that is not of yourselves. It is a free gift of God, and that is Romans chapter five ten, First Corinthians fifteen one through four that Christ died for your sin, was buried, and rose again. By his death, you are saved by his life. That is the gospel of the grace of God. Paul declares it in 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 1. He says, I declare unto you the gospel. Verse 2, he tells us it's how you are saved. Verse 3, that Christ died for our sin, verse 4, was buried and rose again. And again, it's not of works of righteousness, Titus chapter 3, verse 5. It's not by works of the law, Galatians chapter 2, 16. It's not of works, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. It's not of boasting, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. It's not of yourself, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. It is a free gift of God. So let me ask you one question. Why would you tell anyone to repent and be baptized? Those are works. Those are works of righteousness. Those are works of the law. Trust in the death, burial, and resurrection, and you'll be saved. Thank you.